doll lovers it's ruby red's world of dolls and thanks so much for tuning in with me today i have here the disney descendants male owls of the lost collection um and i picked her up from my local roses for a super price of 5.99 and i love these dolls guys um i did a review um on mail as um I mean, this is Mal on Evie, and um, I just love these dolls. I have co uh, my whole collection of my Disney Descendants dolls, and I just love the quality and all the details that go into these dolls, as I've stated before. Um, the, they're weighted dolls, they're articulated dolls, and their fashions is just unbelievable. I just love it. I love all of the details that go into these dolls. And I love the theme of the Disney Descendants. I love it. Um, I love all the colors, and I just love the packaging. Presentation is everything, guys. Um, so if you are late in getting into the Disney Descendants, you know, again, check out your roses. Roses sometimes carry these dolls. They carry all kinds of dolls. Um, when I was in my, when I was in there the other day and I picked up these um, Disney Descendants, they had some DC superhero dolls that had come in. They had some fashionistas. Um monster high you know they carry different brands and i know that again they are the dolls that are no longer you know the thing because they are the older versions and these are the ones that are not being made anymore they are still great dolls and for me it's not about what's new only i if it's a beautiful doll and it's a wonderful price and i like it i go for it so this is what Mal's packaging looks like again and this is what the back of her box looks like. And Mal, of course, is the daughter of Maleficent. And let me tell you, Maleficent is one of my favorite characters. I know that she is an evil witch, but I love her. When they did her story from her point of view, I just fell in love with her. And I just loved her character. And this is her beautiful, beautiful um, daughter. So, we're going to get this beautiful doll out of the box, and we're going to look at her in closer up detail and check out her awesomeness. Mal is so adorable. I love this doll. Every time I get one, I think the one that I just opened and reviewed is my favorite. Then I open another one, and I love that one just as much. So, I think I love them all equally. And I love her ensemble here as well and her color scheme. And again, guys, that is what has drawn me to these beautiful dolls. Is these beautiful accessories and the thing that comes with these dolls in these beautiful colors. I just love it. Look at her beautiful hair. She has these beautiful purple highlights. And I mean, it is just so gorgeous. And it looks like purple and black, I guess you would say. And she's just an adorable doll. And I don't know if it's per se yet. It looks black or either another color of purple. It's in the purple family. And it's different, um... And it's different colors. And it's just gorgeous. And I just love it. And she's got it all pulled to the side in a big ponytail. And I just love it. I just love it. Um, and then she's got it pinned up with a green rubber band. I guess that's to kind of highlight some of the green that's in her accessories. And then she's got this adorable headpiece. And I'm trying to pull that back without messing up her hair. I don't want to mess it up. All right. So these guys, this line is called the, um, what is it called? Genie Chic. So that's kind of what the theme is all about. They're kind of dressed like genies. And um, that's why their outfits look the way they do. Because the theme is Genie Chic. And it's fabulous in my opinion. But her headpiece is, um, again, the gold. And it is plastic. And it's really cute. Has little... um. I'm not sure what the design is. I'm not even going to guess. But it's really beautiful. And then she's wearing these beautiful chandelier earrings. And then it has little pink hearts there on the side at the bottom there. And guys, the earrings are removable as well. 
Um, she's just beautiful. Look at that beautiful smile and that beautiful face. I just love these dolls. I think these dolls are just fabulous. And then she's wearing a necklace, of course. And then it's got that big um, stone in it that's green. I'm not sure what the name of that stone would be called. And then let's talk about her ensemble. Let's get you off the stand, girl. Let's talk about her ensemble. It is probably going to be like um, Evie's ensemble was. It's probably going to be one piece, I guess. But I love the sleeves here. And I love the look of a zipper. But it's not a zipper, but it's the look of a zipper. And it has two little strings here that look like um, it goes to the um, a drawstring. And then it's Velcros in the back. And that's what it looks like in the back. And then I'm sure her belt is removable as well. Yes, it is. And this stuff, like I said, I love the details in these pieces. It is that soft, like, plastic rubbery. And it's really nice. And this is what her outfit looks like in the back. And it Velcros. And it does look like hers is also... Okay, so hers is two separate pieces. So her skirt is sewn to her pants so her top is separate okay so the top part is separate all right and just look at the sleeves and the designs and I really love it I love it and then let's look at the skirt over that sewn onto her leggings I love it look at all those gold um, designs that are printed there on it and guys you know I'm rubbing it and it's not coming off and I really like that Again, I said this, these Disney Descendants dolls have a lot of details and the quality on these little dolls are awesome. And to get these dolls for a $6 price tag is a steal and a deal. And I am so glad that I um, found them in my local roses for that great price. And then underneath the skirt, which is sewn to the pants, she's wearing a pair of purple leggings. And they are really cute. I love purple. It's one of the colors, one of my favorite colors. One of my favorite colors. I can't narrow it down to one. And then check out Girlfriend's shoes. I love the purple with the gold um, trimming there on them. I think they're absolutely fabulous. This um, genie chic look is absolutely gorgeous. And then here on her arm, she's wearing a gorgeous bracelet with the same colors that go back to her belt there. And it's just fabulous, guys. I just love it. She's adorable. And again, her head does tilt up and down from side to side for lots of nice poses and things. And she does have the ball joint in her arm um, shoulder as well. She has articulation at the elbow and the wrist. And I love how their hands have these little um, poses as well. Not just straight little fingers. <laughs> And she does sit and she does bend at the knee. No articulation at the um, ankles. Oh my goodness. And I forgot all about this cuff that was on her arm. It fell off and I didn't even realize it. But she does have a cuff here on her arm that also has the um, design. It looks like a tiara, tiara in my opinion. But it's kind of big. I might have to fix that or she's probably going to lose it. But that is the beautiful male, and I think she is absolutely gorgeous. I really, really like her. Guys, I would love to hear y'all's opinion on the Disney Descendants. Do you guys have any of these dolls in your collection? Are you collect thinking about collecting them? Again, they are available on Walmart.com. They are available um, on Amazon as well. Um, but I picked mine up from my local roses and then my ones in the back here, these three I got from Target like over a year or so ago on clearance as well. And I think I got them for like $7 a piece as well. The, when these dolls were sold at Target, they originally had a price tag of $25. So they went for a pretty steep price. And, you know, I am not going to justify $25 because I would not pay $25 for these dolls. But these dolls are very weighted. They are very well-made dolls. Um, the details, again, are awesome. So I could kind of see why they could justify the price, um, the price point of $25, but not going to pay it. 
um, $6 was great. I could see $10. I could even see 15 you know, but 25 that's kind of steep, you know, and they don't come with anything else, you know, no extra accessories or outfits, just what you see. But these Disney Descendants are beautiful, and I'm so glad to be sharing these dolls with you guys. I'm so excited to be adding them to my collection as well. And again, let me know what your opinion is on the Disney Descendants dolls. Do you watch the show? Do you like the characters? If so, which one is your favorite? Guys, thanks again for tuning in with me today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Ruby Red's World of Dolls. Guys, again, continue loving and enjoying what you do. If you're not happy, you need to probably change your course a little bit and find some happiness. You know, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Enjoy as much as you can. You guys, you know, we're going to have ups and we're going to have downs, you know. Like, we've been getting rain for like a week or so. And this is one thing I can say. Yesterday, the sun peaked out a little bit. And it made me appreciate the sun a little bit more. I've been complaining about the heat and the sun beaming on me all the time on the um, in the car and can't get away from it. <laughs> and when I saw it yesterday after having all these cloudy days and rainy days, and it just made me appreciate it a lot more. You know, we never miss our water till our well runs dry, they say sometimes. But, you know, I just, you know, you just got to appreciate the small stuff sometimes. You know, you're looking for the waiting on the big, the big, um, big break to come. And in between the waiting on that big break, you're missing all of the small things. And the small things are important as well. So don't forget to, um, count your blessings and, and look around, you know. Sometimes when everything's looking rough. It can blind you from seeing what is right there in front of you and make you not appreciate what you do have. So just try to remember that, guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you in my next review.